what's going on guys thanks for tuning in to another one uh today i wanted to talk about one of the the coolest things that i think that uh one of the coolest features about the manual mustang um and it's actually new for 2019 i know the 18 and 19 models are supposed to kind of be the same um they made only minor improvements in 2019 over the 2018 but this is one of those little things that they did and um, it's also one of the reasons when I was looking for a car that I only wanted the 19 over the 18. Again, that might seem weird considering, well, it's the same car. Well, this one feature they did not put in the 18 is brand new for the 19. So I'm talking about the rev match. And it, like I said, it's one of the funnest, coolest things about this car. What, what it does basically is without it, uh, when you want to downshift in a manual car, you got to get the RPMs up. You got to rev the engine. Um, to get it basically spinning the same as it would be in the lower gear so it doesn't buck so you know so the transmission and the engine can engage at the same speed so what the automatic rev match does is revs the engine up for you so you might hear a lot of people talk about uh heel toe when you're downshifting and stuff like that and that's basically uh where your toe is on the brake and your heel is revving the gas up as you're downshifting and then brake rev it up so you can downshift and the rev match the rev match just takes all that away and not even takes it away in a bad way. I know there's probably some enthusiasts um, out there that don't like this feature, that don't use it, that don't don't want it, don't need it, you know, all that. I don't feel that way. I think it makes it so much more fun. Yeah, it makes it easier. You know, I, I think driving the manual car is already engaged enough. I don't feel like you need to have, I, I don't feel like you need to be doing the revving yourself. I don't feel like it takes anything away. Um, by having this rev match basically I, I think it adds you know to the overall overall experience it just you know makes it that much smoother and and you know it, it's like I said just one of the greatest features about the manual version of this car so um, basically I'll just kind of explain what it does and I'm gonna put y'all on my head and demonstrate so you can see so when you're downshifting in this car uh, so you put the clutch in when you put it down a gear that's when it revs the engine up it's not when you put the clutch in it's not when you take the clutch out it's when the shift knob goes into a lower gear that's when the or when the revs pop up so in theory and i'll show you when i put y'all on my head is when you're cruising and if you like just get the gear shifter and you have the clutch in, you don't ever lift it out and like you pull it back in a second it'll rev like that if you pull it back in a second twice you know it'll it'll rev twice basically so putting the shifter into the lower gear is what activates the rev match. That's what pops the RPMs up. That's what does it. So once the shifter is, you know, in the lower gear and the revs are popped up, then that's when you can let the clutch out. And it's smooth, honestly. I mean, it's, you know, I know I have a buddy that, uh, he likes to do the hill toe. He doesn't like rev match. I've had a couple people drive my car and they're like, what is it doing? You know, when it downshifts, cause if you don't know what it is and it is kind of alarming and a little, uh, you know you just don't know what's happening like why is the car revving up is it broken like what's what is it what's going on basically so if you don't know you don't know if you know you know and i i think it's so much fun it just makes it so much more smooth and fun and you just sound like a hero it just sounds completely badass i mean i only have stock exhaust right now but i plan on getting some courses in the future and i can just imagine you know this downshifting what it's going to sound like <laughs> i think it's going to be absolutely amazing so um, I hope that demonstrated exactly, you know, kind of what you're going to be seeing. And now I'm going to put y'all on my head so you can kind of see what's going on from my point of view and I'll demonstrate what's happening. And you'll be able to see when I put the gear, when I'm driving and I put the, the shift knob or I put the car into a lower gear, you'll see the revs pop up. I'm going to put it in track mode so you can really see the RPMs and just know that's not me doing it. When the rev or the RPMs pop up, that's the car doing it on its own. And it's putting the RPMs exactly where it needs to be. Um, for that particular gear that I'm trying to put it into. So uh, without further ado, I'll put y'all up here. All right, guys, now that you're up top, you'll be able to see exactly what I see and exactly what I'm doing here with the, uh, the shift knob. Get my phone out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in track mode. Oops, pass it up. Go ahead and put it in track mode. Uh, just so, I mean, you should be able to hear the car either way, but just so you can like really hear, you know, what the RPMs are doing and everything, so go ahead and get out of this parking lot and we'll uh, demonstrate the rev match and I guess I should say if I didn't mention before this is a feature that you can turn on and off uh, with the uh, with the 19 it's a, a you know it's an option but you can turn it on and off if you just don't like this if you don't like you know if you don't like driving with it you can't turn it off so 
Just keep that in mind. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm in third gear. If I put the clutch in, second gear. See? So you can see, first gear, watch. So you can see, by me putting it into gear, that's what's actually, you know, revving the, the thing up. It's that's, that's what activates it. So you can sit there and do it over and over. And it actually, um, it holds the RPMs as long as you hold it in that gear. So when I put it in first gear and I held it there, it's, and then as soon as I took it out, it, it fell. So um, it actually holds it where it needs to be for a little bit. Let's keep going here. Go ahead and take a right. gonna get up to speed and uh I'm gonna hit this u-turn right here I'm gonna slow down so you can kind of see what it does so I'm gonna put it in third revs it up second see and it had to rev it up pretty high then and then take it out of gear let the clutch in gears go back down so <clears throat> we'll get turned back around here I'll show y'all kind of a faster, a faster one here. I don't want to get going too fast down this road, but you can see there, I was in third, and just when I was mashing it down into second, popped the RPMs up, and I was able to let off the clutch and just mash the gas. So it's really nice, you know. Say I'm sitting here cruising in sixth gear, and I need to pass somebody, I just fourth, revs it up like that. Then I can go back down into six, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you could have hit third gear if you need some more speed. Or you could have hit second gear if you really needed to rip it there. So, all right, guys, I wanted to get uh, headed back kind of toward the highway um, so we can do some pulls and stuff. But just to talk a little bit more about it, I guess, the rev matching is good for a couple things, really. You know, when you're slowing down, one, just to kind of make a turn. If you still want to want to downshift, like here perfect example you know downshift a couple times and you know come to a stop so it's uh it's good if you want to stop you know good for turning if you're coming up to a turn to a stoplight anything like that it's also good if you want to downshift if you're racing like i said earlier maybe not even if you're if you not even exactly to race but just if you need to pass somebody or something like that so um yeah slowing down turning coming to a stoplight downshift a couple times if you want to race somebody if you need to pass somebody if you just want to go faster so um those are the couple of things it's really good for i showed you uh slowing down and turning and everything like that so i want to get to uh the highway area and do a couple pulls just kind of show you how you can be going you know a certain speed drop it a couple gears and you can skip gears too that was the other the other thing i often skip gears accelerating i uh i a lot of times might start in second if i'm kind of at a little bit of a roll go to third and then to fifth or if i'm at a complete stop i'll go first second third over to fifth or sixth you know just kind of put it into overdrive so you can skip you know and likewise if you're in overdrive at sixth gear and you need to drop it down to, to fourth or third or second you know to really get going then you can skip gears that's something you can do so I'll show you all here there you go see the rpms just pop up so down into third do it up a little bit more throw it a second right where i need to be all right so i'll show you all how you can be chilling in fifth and we're gonna go down to third and, and pin it. And just like that, 
you are at the right RPM and you can you're good to go from there all right guys well thanks for tuning in that's going to be it on this video i hope i gave a good demonstration of what rev match is why it's good where it helps why it's awesome why it's fun and really showed you you know how to use it and uh you know what its benefits are so uh like i said that's the end of this video thanks for tuning in i'll see y'all next time